Hi everyone, so I think I've finally found a, a good lighting scenario. It's not perfect, but I'm working with it. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> but um, I just, I actually just did my eyebrows too, but I just wanted to do a foundation routine for you. How I get perfect flawless skin, because I've had multiple requests to do it, but I was just very kind of like, iffy about doing it because I'm not great at tutorials. I don't really do them that much for good reason. Um, just tell you a little bit of this. Um, but I figured I gotta do my makeup today anyway, so um, might as well go all out and might as well um, film it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off. I've cleansed my skin using the Clarins Extra Comfort Cleansing Cream and I just exfoliated using the Clarins uh, Gentle Exfoliator Brightening Toner as I mention all the time um, and I used a cotton pad and um, so my skin is really prepped for um, stuff that's gonna go on top of it now. So I'm gonna start with moisturizer. I'm gonna use the CeraVe High, or facial moisturizing lotion PM. Um, the only reason I'm using PM is because I um, don't like the AM because it has a lot of chemical sunscreens in it. And those don't really agree with, well, I think really anyone's skin, unless your skin is indestructible. indestructible. I'm not going to put any eye cream on or anything because I just find that um, the extra emollients and moisture around the eye area means that the concealer is going to crease that much faster and I have pretty deep, small lines right around my eyes and concealer falls in there no matter what. So we'll go ahead and start with that um, and let that sink in um, and then what I want to do is prime. Now two primers that I love a lot are from Hourglass. They just they've worked the best for me, the Mineral Veil and the number 28 Primer Serum. I'm going to use the Mineral Veil today because I'm not wearing, I'm not going to wear sunscreen because I'm not going outside until tonight. I'm going to be inside with the blinds closed. So, um, I mean, a little bit of sunscreen is good, but I don't need hardcore intense. I also don't have a mirror. What was I thinking? So, I've got the primer here. I'm going to work this in. I think I put too much. I did two pumps. But... That's the one fun part about living downtown. Something's always catching on fire, or someone's always getting hurt, or um, the piece is disturbed, and there's sirens all the time. I really think you could probably do two and a half pumps, and that would have been, or one and a half pumps, excuse me, and that would have been sufficient. I think I did two men, or one half too many. Um, I think the foundation I want to use today is the Chanel Vita Lumiere because I talk about it all the time and um, I think it's probably going to be the best match for me right now because I'm a little bit too dark to wear the regular Vita Lumiere Aqua that I really like um, and the NARS um, Radiant Cream in Punjab is I think a little bit light right now. Either that or no it's just a little bit light. So we'll use the Chanel one and it's it's really what I use when I want flawless skin because it just looks great. So I'm going to take it, took the cap off, love Chanel packaging um, and their packaging is great because one pump is the perfect amount to start. You never end up with too much and the pump never goes crazy. You do one pump and the exact amount of product comes out each time and it's not too much. Um, I'm going to use, why not, let's use the Chanel foundation brush, make me feel good about life. I'm also going to have a buffer brush waiting in the wings just in case I need to blend my edges. So we'll start with the foundation and the foundation brush. Get a little bit. Now, a lot of people say to start at the center of the face and work your way out, which I technically think you should, especially for women because uh, hormonal redness tends to be around the center of the face, around the nose, around the mouth. And um, But I've always had my problems on my cheeks, so that's just where I put the foundation um, because I don't really think my the center of my face needs it all that much. So we're just going to start applying. I um, I know that you can do like the crosshatch method or you know whatever, but when it comes to a regular foundation brush, I honestly just kind of slap it on my face. Which sounds bad because there's not a lot of technique involved with that. But it works for me and um, I always end up with the effect that I want, so why not? And then once you get towards the edges, you're going to want to think about starting to 
than the amount of product that you have out. So I find that by putting the product on your cheeks or the center of your face, um, naturally you'll just end up with less product on the brush as you work outwards. So um, that's kind of the effect I want anyway. So get more for the other side now. This is the side that has more um, pigmentation and textural issues. So I usually end up putting just a smidgen more foundation on this side. But obviously wherever you need it the most. I recommend just everyone get um, something that's not full coverage when it comes to foundation as I've probably mentioned many a time. Um, but it, it just it looks a lot more natural. Um, and if you watch Lisa Eldridge's video on acne and blemish covering, she says the same thing and I, you can tell the difference between when someone's makeup looks good, like you may be really good at working full coverage all over your entire face, though it's not very hard to do, you just kind of slap it on, um, but, um, it takes a lot and a little bit more time, but the effect is a lot better of sheer coverage and then, um, fuller coverage where you need it. No, I also didn't shave, so um, if I have any stubble, just forgive that. I honestly don't mind it being there, but um, if I needed a really per um, And then I only have a little bit of foundation left, and that's the um, what I'm going to use on my forehead because I really don't need any coverage on my forehead at all, but I just like to make sure that my skin tone is even, so I'm using the littlest amount. Um, and then like I say, uh, you want to make sure your edges are blended. Now, I think this foundation is good for someone who has a normal or dry skin. Oily skin I might suggest something else just because um, it is made to be a little bit more radiant, a little bit more hydrating, and that might not work too well if you have oil already going on in your face. Um, I got a little bit more and I'm just going to put that on my nose now because I forgot to do my nose. Um, but if you have oilier skin, I definitely say the Vita Lumiere Aqua because it's made, it's a, a more of a velvet finish. There's not as much hydration going on in it, um, but it still gives you that really kind of natural finish. Um, it's a lot more, it's a lot less dewy than this one, um, so that'll be better for oilier skins but it still gives you the effect of like not looking like you're wearing foundation but just that your skin is really in fact quite good so and then I'm going to take my buffer brush and blend out the edges so along onto my jawline, onto my neck, onto my ears into my hairline you really want it to be seamless and um, you want everything to kind of fade into the other. And then if you need to, just pat or buff over um, the rest of your face to make sure everything's sort of smoothed on. Um, I have let the foundation sit for a second because I had to go get a backup memory card in case I ran out of room on this one. Um, so it's been sitting for like th two or three minutes now. Um, but obviously it's been cooking pretty good. So now I think the hardest part, um, at least for me, for me, I don't know about you guys, concealing, spot concealing. Everyone makes it seem like it's way easier than it actually is. But, um, so let's hope that this ends up working out really well. Um, I'm going to use the Hourglass, what is this called? Hidden Corrective Concealer. Now, I'm going to take, and I kid you not, this is the secret brush, um, the Simply Simmons Filbert Number no. 2 from Michaels. Um, it's the perfect size and shape, and it's not too dense, so it doesn't absorb the product. It just places it where you want it in the end. So, I only have a few that I ever feel like really taking the time to cover up. Um, so I place the um, product there over the blemish and then I'm taking a smaller sort of blending brush and blending out the edges, which I always fuck this part up, always, because I'll either blend too much or it's just hard to match color, concealer to foundation, even within brands sometimes except Bobbi Brown. 
Sometimes I just give up and I'm like, I don't care. Um, because honestly, I really do, even when I had acne, I didn't really try too hard to cover it up because, or, you know, cover it up perfectly because a little bit of blemishing on the skin looks natural. It, I, and I think the goal is to look natural. You don't want to look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Um, even if the point is to be flawless, you can do that in a way that's not heavy or overdone. So I'm just going to take the product and then I'm taking the foundation brush. This is where I have a larger sort of discoloration bit I'm padding over. Even, you know what, even here, I'm just going to pat it over. So, as you can, I mean, as you know, I like skincare, and I think that's what it comes down to, is I don't want to have to use makeup to perfect um, the imperfections that I have on my face, so I'd rather just have really good skin and not be able to have to cover anything up with concealer or... You know, I can just get away with using tinted everything rather than heavy coverage in certain places. So, I didn't really do all that much on that side, but hey, what are you going to do? So, we'll just let this sit for a second. Um, I'm going to set... Why not? I'm going to use my favorite. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. I love this stuff so much. Um, I'm going to set my blemishes or the spots that I concealed with this stuff just using a regular old like eyeshadow brush um, because this doesn't look flat so it'll go with the whole um, finish of my foundation and concealer which is um, a little bit radiant so I'm just gonna set those areas with powder as you need to do but I'm patting on um, in fact let me take for my cheek I'm gonna take a larger brush just pat the product on. You don't want to sweep it because then it's just going to move the concealer about and that's not going to look nice. So just pat. And then I'll even use this to set the center of my face and stuff. set with powder and um, as you can see I'm pretty glowy which I like I think it looks a lot better than flat skin um, because do you notice how I'm only glowy like on the sides of my face the center of my face is not super 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 shiny and that's what looks natural that's what looks makes it look healthy and radiant rather than like oil slick um, under eye concealer might as well I'm gonna use the Milani HD Advanced I can get it. HD Advanced Concealer, but I also really like the um, Maybelline Magic Lumi or Lumi Touch, whatever. But this one's my favorite. I have the shade t number two. If you can track this down and get it, get it, pick it up. I usually find every single day I need eye primer, even if I wear eyeshadow or not, simply because um, my eyelids get really oily. So I'm going to take some of the NARS um, Pro Prime Smudge Proof, just a little bit. That was not a little bit. Oh, that's not a little bit at all. And then I've got that on the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. because this really will stop my eyelids from getting really greasy. And that's what will th really throw this whole radiance thing off too, is um, greasiness on the eyelids. Um, I'm going to take, I might as well just do a little bit of highlighter today anyway. Um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, which if you are fairer than I am, Pearl is a great option as well. Um, <coughs> and then if you're darker, Topaz. 
Um, I'm going to take a little foundation brush with any of the extra foundation that I have on the back of my hand. And then I like to actually wipe off most of the product um, and then take the remainder and put that. You have to be careful with this stuff if you move it about too much. So you just got to be careful. But I always put this on my cheekbones and bring it around onto my temples and then above my eyebrow. And sometimes underneath my brow as well. Upper lip. On the Cupid's bow. A little bit on the nose. And you just gotta make sure you blend the edges of this. Feeling very glowy and pretty. Mm, might as well. Extra on the chin. Okay, so we're glowing, we're glowing, we're loving it. Um, but something I want to mention is the reason I feel like I maintain that whole flawless kind of look is you notice how I didn't use a powder foundation. I used a mineral powder that does not offer a lot of coverage and it doesn't look flat either or heavy. Um, it's a lightweight um, powder with pearl built into it so it looks it doesn't look shiny and it's not going to accentuate pores or anything like that because I know that's a concern of some people but the pearl just keeps it from looking I don't know overly flat or um, overly dry and powdery, which I personally am not a fan of, is overly powdery powders. I think it's possible to look matte, but not flat. I prefer a velvet look anyway, you know? So, there we go. And then sometimes I'll take a big brush and sweep this onto my neck if my colors are not completely matched up. That's what I think powder foundation is good for, is your neck and ears, um, because it doesn't um, transfer as easily as some liquids can. So I'm going to take the Dior Amber Diamond um, powder highlighter and then just pat that lightly over the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector just to help set that. Because I want things to last, but I don't ever want them to look flat, you know? So. There's that. I don't feel like I need any bronzer today, um, but I might still throw a little bit on. Um, I'm going to take Benefit Hoola because I'm feeling a little bit on the matter side today. Still a little bit though. And I really only shape around my temples and a little bit under my cheekbones. A little bit. on the eyelids, the nose, and the chin. Okay. Now let me go, let me tell you guys a secret honestly to perfection. And it rests with a large fluffy paddle brush and hourglass ambient lighting powder. Doesn't matter what shade, I prefer the less pearly ones though. Um, so sweeping some product on the brush sweeping it and then I wipe off the brush onto a towel that way any foundation that might have come off um, doesn't seal the powder I just sweep sweep it across my forehead but you're not buffing don't buff so it sort of like cancels it out. So, I have the shade Mood, which is pink, but it doesn't look pink on my skin. You notice that? <laughs> Basically, that is it. That's how I get like flawless skin. Um, I didn't put on any blush either. I wasn't feeling that right now. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's everything. Hopefully you guys like it. it look, you can tell the difference and I look nice. So I'm gonna sit around until tonight and then I'm gonna have 
fun game night with apples to apples and stuff like that. So, yeah, I will talk to everyone later. Bye, guys.